Hello and welcome. I'm Wolfgang Rieber. These are my quick tips. Today I'm in Hamburg and I have got a lot to share with you. I've been so fortunate to have spent the last few days with my father in his hometown and he's shown me where he was born, where he went to school, where they used to hide during the Second World War and it was such an emotional experience going through all of this and actually having my dad share this with me. He, had now, he has an older sister and we went and caught up with her and chatting to her as well and learning about their youth and their life has been phenomenal. But an interesting thing is speaking to his sister which I see as my second mother, I noticed she was a bit depressed and I said what's wrong? And she just had her partner die a few months ago and she said to me you know right now I'm so old that everyone I know has died on me and I'm alone. I see no point of getting up in the morning. Wow! Did that freak me out? I was so shocked at that. And this is a thought that no younger person thinks about. Well, I would never have thought about it. Imagine being at an age where everyone that you knew is not there anymore. And of course, being a mind shift guru, I immediately, oh, I've got to focus on this. I've got to come up with some solutions and share these with her to make her more positive, which I did. And I want to start off by telling you the following. The first thing is, throughout your life, keep contact with people, also younger people, so that one day when you are older, that you have some younger friends. And then, if you don't have any friends now, secondly, which is very important, is go out and do some charity work whether it's at a hospice, at a museum, at an orphanage or whatever, just go out and get involved because in that way you're giving more meaning to your life and you're meeting people and you're still having fun. And of course with today's technology you can share your life experience with everyone out there whether it's starting a blog, whether it's writing a book, connecting on the social media and in that way again giving meaning and sharing with everyone out there plus also once again building up a few contacts making you feel important and fourthly I know this may sound a bit corny but how many elderly people do you see with a pet out there and they mother that pet well you know what a pet relaxes you keeps your company it's unconditional love that a pet shares with you whether it's a small dog or a cat or even a bird that makes a big difference too because you've got something that you can care for. And what about gardening? Being in tune with nature, I would definitely suggest taking walks out in the field or out in the forest, but even in your own garden, even if it's just a small herb garden that you're putting together, but that gardening, being in touch with nature, connecting and even speaking to your plants. I've kind of noticed elderly people that I go to who are into gardening, their plants tend to flourish better than younger people. Why? Maybe it's that contact, it's that love, it's that talking, it's the energy. Think about it. Sharing stuff on the internet, such as photos. If you're watching this and you're retired, then you're computer literate. So how about taking photos of nature, of things you see, using your insight, your life experience, commenting on it and posting it on the social media or sharing it somewhere. People will post comments in return in that way you're connecting. And the other thought I had is, how about studying something? Something you always wanted to study. You're never too old to study anymore. And in that way, you grow within yourself, you learn a bit more, and it gives you more to think about in life. So in a nutshell, what I want to say to you is, it was really quite an emotional shock to me to hear that somebody can reach that age where they've got no one left. And I can relate and understand to that completely. But with the tips I've shared with you, just go out there, connect. Just take that first step. If you are lonely, there are people out there that would love to chat with you, connect with you, and learn from you as well. Don't be shy. Go out there, go do it. So in summary, doesn't matter who you are, whether you have friends or not, whether you're young or old, and especially if you're a bit older, go out there, those tips I've just shared with you, use those, make more friends, get more involved, and start living in the moment. The other day I bumped into an old friend and when we parted, he didn't say goodbye, he said take risks. I thought that was quite weird, what do you mean take risks? And I sort of stopped him and said, whoa, you can't leave me like this. And he said, well, most people say goodbye, stay healthy, go well, which are all important things. He changed it to take risks. How many of us, or take chances, how many of us go out and take a chance? 
go out and take a chance and do some of the things I just shared with you. It's a chance you take, but odds are you're going to benefit from it. Isn't that what life is all about? Having fun living in the moment? So from me, Wolfgang Rieber, thank you very much, and I'll see you around next time. Until then, take chances.